Hello everyone, welcome to today's class. Today we are going to talk about algorithms. What is an algorithm? An algorithm simply refers to sequence of instructions that one can follow to accomplish a task. So it doesn't matter the task that you've been given. If you are able to outline instructions that anyone at all can follow those instructions and accomplish the task, then you have successfully developed an algorithm. To be a successful programmer, you should be able to develop algorithm for your programs that you are going to write. When you are given a problem to write a program for, what do you have to do? There are seven basic steps that you need to follow. These seven basic steps include 1. Defining your problem. You cannot solve a problem that you cannot define. So once you are given a problem, what you first need to do is to be able to define the problem. What do we mean by defining the problem? Be able to identify three critical things. What do my software require in order to function? What is my software expected to give out? And then what are the steps that I can take to move my inputs to become my output? This is what we mean by defining your problem. After defining the problem, you outline the major solution. By outlining the major solution, we mean the major processes involved. You should be able to break down any subtax if there are any. Also, what are your user interfaces that will be required? Are there any major control structures that you require? If you, for now, you do not know what major control structures are, you do not know what variables are, relax. We would understand all of them in due time. Then you come to the main logic. You should be able to outline your logic that would process your problem. After outlining the solution, we now get into developing the algorithm. So you see, developing your algorithm is not just jumping in and then moving straight into your development. You have to go through the first two steps before you start outlining your algorithm. After outlining your algorithm, there are some other tests that you need to do to ensure that the algorithm is correct. Then we now program our algorithm into a specific programming language. We we'll run it on our computer and then we'll document and maintain the program afterwards. For this section of our studies, we would focus on the first three. That is being able to define the problem, being able to outline a solution, and then developing the outline into an algorithm. Let's step in.